The first theorem we'll talk about is the fundamental theorem of algebra. And as the name suggests, whoops, not red. It is fundamental that you be able to understand this. The theorem states that if f is a polynomial of degree n, with n greater than or equal to 1. So essentially this means that we have f of x equal to at least 1x. Maybe it's equal to x, x squared, x cubed, something. Well then f has at least one zero. That is, the equation f of x equals zero has at least one root or solution. What is important to note is that the zero of f, so this solution, for f of x equals zero may be a non-real complex number. And we saw this earlier. We saw it with quadratics such as f of x equals x squared plus 25. We know that the graph of this function would be a parabola with a vertex at zero comma 25. So this particular function does not have any real solutions for the roots but it does have complex number solutions. And it does have two of those. Well, let's look at a couple of examples. So for the examples, let's determine whether or not each of the given functions will have at least one root. We see that f of x, yes, has at least one root. And we know from experience, and what I just drew on the side, that these roots are complex, non-real solutions. G of x. Well, G of x, we have a polynomial to the 32nd degree, so yes, it has at least one root. H of x equals 12. No. We do not have any x's for our input, so we don't have x to any power that's greater than or equal to 1. And then M of x we see, yes, this will have at least one root. That's because we have x to the fifth. So the fundamental theorem of algebra, pretty straightforward, but it's very important, especially for what we're going to be talking about with the additional theorems, all of which tend to deal with roots or the polynomials and aspects of that in general.